how's uh, practice been so far this week? Been good. They uh, had a good day yesterday and uh, got introduced to Missouri and then uh, I had good spirits today. It was nice and cool out and um, had good practice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Coach uh, White told us yesterday that uh, he was going to dress up as Ricky Bobby for Halloween. Just wondering what you were dressing up like. Who? Ricky Bobby from no, Talladega Nights. That? Coach my, White. My coach. Oh, basketball <laughs> coach. I, I was like, I thought one of our coaches or one of the SEC coaches. Um, when's Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's tonight? Oh, it's tonight? <laughs> no, I'll be up here working. I'm, uh, I'm grinding. My kids are, are past the age, really. I mean, uh, Andrew might be doing something, but we'll, we'll be rolling tonight. What's your confidence level in the secondary going against the Missouri offense that not just has Luther Burton, but other talented wide receivers that are able to push the ball down the field? We'll find out Saturday. Uh, I'm always uh, confident in our team and our players, but uh, it won't be on just them. It'll be on you know, the safeties, the rush, the linebackers, the down and distance, the uh, field position. A lot of things go into stopping a good passing attack, and then they've got a great running attack, so it's not like it's just one sided. Um, but he won't just be on RDBs, it'll be on the collective group. It's not an individual unit. Coach, I know everybody's probably been traveling last week. How much healthier does he appear to be this week? Looks much better. Kirby, when you're going up against a team that had a bye the previous week and y'all were playing, what's the added challenge there? And is there any different way of going about preparing for a team that's had some extra time off? <laughs> no difference. What can you do? I mean, I like, what would your different prep be? There's not. I mean, you get ready for the team you play, regardless of the time they have off. I mean, so there's, there's a lot of things you don't control. You don't control that. You, you control the time you have, which I think that's what you try to maximize every week. Coach, when you look at uh, Nate Pete and Cody Schrader, what sticks out about them on film, and, and just how do you guys prepare to, you know, for two or two headed running back like that? Well, everybody we play has two running backs. They're, they're physical. They're tough. I mean, we play teams with three running backs, four running backs. I mean, that's, you, you can't have one running back in the SEC. You will have none if you have one. Um, but they're, they're really physical. They run the tracks. They uh, have great vision. Uh, and they catch the ball in the backfield. They protect. They're, they're complete backs. So um, it seems like everybody we play, you know, in the SEC has, has good physical backs. They, they certainly do. And they've had a lot of success in the run game because – it works together, pass and run. Is there anything you maybe do in practice or, or work on to try and improve red zone defense? Uh, it's been an area this year where, you know, traditionally you guys have been excellent and it's just a random, maybe it's a randomness thing, but this year more touchdowns will happen perhaps traditionally. Yeah, we're doing the same thing we've done every year. So the results have been different, but the process has been the same. So uh, we've tried to make a bigger emphasis on it. And, uh, when you say try to do anything different, trying to do more of doing it right, like eye control, uh, doing your job, uh, stopping the run, those things. We're going to talk to Jalen here in a little bit. The pretty clear impact that he had on Saturday. What have you seen from his development, particularly as a pass rusher? Work ethic. I mean, he's committed to it. He works his trade, his craft every day. Um, you know, I thought Shimon did a great job pointing out. He, uh, he, he took every rep on a Friday walkthrough to really work his pass rush move in a walkthrough, like physically, mentally taking his steps, dropping, rushing, stripping the quarterback, and then I'll be dang if he didn't do the exact thing in the game. And you could put that clip, those three clips he had of doing that back to back and show the players that being intentional in a walkthrough and being locked in in a walkthrough can have uh, incredible value. Just going back and watching the game this past week, what did you see out of Marvin Jones? Seems like he had a, a little bit bigger impact than, than normal. Marvin's growing up. He's playing good. He's uh, doing some good things. He had, he had a few good plays. He had a few bad plays. He had a couple he wish he had back. But he did uh, 
have some discipline and play a screen well. Uh, he had the fumble recovery. Um, he's, he's, he's becoming more and more confident in his game play. Kirby, how have you seen Oscar handle these last few weeks? Because whether it's fair or not, you can kind of see that there could, he could potentially feel more pressure after Brock got hurt. But just how have you seen him, him handle these last few weeks? Yeah, I don't see any difference. I mean, I know y'all find that hard to believe, but I mean, he he played when Brock was here. He, he plays when Brock's not. He uh, he took a load of reps before uh, Brock was injured. He takes a load of reps with Brock injured. He. Uh, he, he fights his tail off every day at practice. He works hard. He, if anything, he's just got more opportunities. And, you know, he's made the most of them. Coach, uh, the team is, is 42 and 4 at home since you've been the coach here. And so I'm sure you can recall with great detail. Three of those losses were in the first year, and the other one against South Carolina, They're, all of them were just about as fluky. So you're just a skosh away from, from not having a loss at home. Can you just talk about? A, the importance of that, and uh, I mean, any kind of importance you put on it, is that just fans responding and, and helping out and making it a more difficult place for visitors to play? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a collective effort, right? I mean, it's like, hey, we, we, we all chip in on this. We practice hard, we, we, we beat the hell out of each other out there at practice, and, and, uh, and we, we want to put a good uh, product on the field. We want to defend our turf, we feel like championship teams at Georgia have, have not lost at home and so you better not lose at home if you want to be a championship program um, and we have a you know a wall that kind of says that like you better not lose at home if you want to do something special and um, the atmosphere is helpful that um, but you know, sometimes sometimes you know, you know, teams come in and, and play well and you have to rise to the occasion to play against them. You mentioned yesterday that Cook gets a little out in like 2.2, 2.3 seconds. What's typical for an SEC quarterback from what your experience uh, and how do you counteract that? I probably wouldn't have a good answer on that. That was only on my head because uh, it's so quick he gets it out. And there's, there, you know, there's averages in there. There's play action. There's roll. I mean, he's not 2.2 all the time, but that kind of ball comes out quick. You know, so we've been thinking about dropping all 11 to send for the first. <laughs> Hey coach, what were some of the things that the Tigers were able to do last year that was successful in last year's matchup? And does any of that go into this year's evaluation for this game? Well, I'm sure every coach, if the staff remains the same, or maybe even if the staff doesn't remain the same, they they, they, they evaluate the last game. I mean, we have a we have a history with uh, with Missouri now with Eli there. You know, and uh, you look at you know both sides of the ball, you look at matchups. Um, they did a tremendous job. They uh, kept us off balance offensively and. Um, and, and, and kind of dominated the line of scrimmage defensively. So, what are you going to do to answer that? You, 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 you got to be able to impose your will. You got to be able to, to run the ball, play action. You, you got to be efficient. You can't waste down the distances. You can't get negative lost yardage plays. You got to stay ahead of the chain. Same thing they're saying they got to do on us. We got to do on them. You guys converted a fake field goal there last year. Obviously, blocked punt Saturday. And if I'm not mistaken, haven't allowed a punt return all year. What do you think it is that allows such success on special teams? Well, I don't know that we've been as successful as I'd like to be on special teams, but what allows you to be successful on special teams is good players. And what allows you to have good players is good recruiting. And you got to have a staff that's dedicated and committed to special teams and involved. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't coach the special teams, but I'm going to be there for every minute of it because I think it's important. And I think when you demand – excellence and they see the head coach's nose in the special team stuff, it makes them realize it's important. And we, we try to put a, a really large value on, on the special teams game. Yeah, what have you seen Malachi grow the most this year? Obviously, this, time, this game last year made a really big play, chasing down Schrader uh, to prevent the touchdown there. What have you seen him in his second year really grow and grow the player? Confidence, um, knowledge of the system, uh, leadership. He's a great kid. He works every day. He listens. He's extremely coachable. I mean, parents did a wonderful job um, raising him, and he's just a, a joy to coach. Just wonder if there's uh, any play in college football harder to defend than the slant, and uh, it seemed like a. Florida was having some early success, success on that, but it, it, it truly is a difficult thing to defend. What's your sort of philosophy when you're talking to cornerbacks about trying to defend that in man coverage? 
Well, if it was the hardest play in football, then I think everybody would run it. Why do some people not throw it? I think you'd have to ask an offensive coach that. We certainly did not play it very well the other day. You're correct in saying that. But um, and a lot of it has to do with the coverage you're in, the matchup you've got. Uh, it's a very often batted ball uh, a lot of times. A lot of it has to do with the spacing, time of the game, down in distance. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into um, slants. They did a good job executing it last week. Jeremy, what have you seen from Christian Miller and how far he's come along this season? Gotten better. Gotten better each week. He, he still hasn't um, tapped or, or reached in his potential, but he is uh, he's getting better. He, he works hard. He, he's one of the kids that enjoys taking reps against the scout team and against the offense because he used to go against Seth. And he's like, Coach, I want to get better if I go against the, 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 the really good offensive line. So I love his work ethic. What kind of added confidence comes from winning a game on the road? Because it seemed like last year, you know, this was one that y'all drew back on a lot in the Auburn game this year, or coming back from a halftime deficit there. Uh, I think it, it gives you the belief that you, you, you're in every game. You know, you can win any game, any circumstance, any, anything going on. But uh, I, I mean, this team has, has kind of had those qualities probably since last year against Missouri. But um, it's not a situation you want to put yourself in often. Anything that's striking when you're watching the film about the new coordinator they have on offense? Uh, you know, what kind of touches he brought to that, that offense? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to separate what's his and what's uh, Eli's. Uh, there's a lot of Eli flavor. That's probably why he got hired because they have a lot of the same philosophy. There's new wrinkles. Um, they're they're doing some really good things. Um, they have talented players to do it with. Uh, he's done an unbelievable job uh, coordinating and calling it. And he was successful where he was. I mean, shoot, the guy. A lot of championships and, uh, and it's played really good offense. Got a great name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Thank you. Thank you.